Automation, what is it and how do we do it? In the mixer window under the word auto, you will see automation. Click on it and you'll see all the options. I'm gonna explain what each one does and then we'll go through examples. Write mode. In write mode, it writes automation from the time playback starts until it ends and it erases over any previous automation. Let's do touch mode now. Touch mode only writes automation while the fader or switch is touched and when you release it, it reverts back to a previously automated position, such as your original level, for example. Latch mode. Latch mode is very similar to touch. It only writes automation when you move a control. However, once automation is done, it does not revert back to a previous automation point. It latches to a new point and it, and it continues there. Touch latch. In this mode, automation mode places a tracks volume in touch and all other automatable points in latch mode. Read. In this mode, it's going to read all your automation and play it, all your moves and such. Off. In this mode, it's going to have all your automation off. It's not going to delete it, but it'll have it off, which is basically how you did how you had it before you did any automation, which is cool sometimes to see what you did to make sure you're not screwing it up or that it's too different from the original and it's not actually helping the track and it just sounds extreme. And maybe you want that, but you know sometimes it's good to just A-B it back and forth. Now let's check us out in the track as an example. I have some drums and bass and we're gonna automate just the drum group. Let's just check it out real quick and we'll automate a bit. All right, so that sounds pretty cool. Let's, um, let's do some automation to that to add some bum to it. Here we go. We're gonna go in write mode, which is the first one we discussed. Cool, so as you can see, I bumped up a few of the cymbals and just overall I tried to groove with the drums and some of the fills in there to get it to kick a little more. Obviously I'd spend a little more time in this in a mix, but just for example purposes, this works. The next mode is touch. Let's do some automation and touch. Just to touch up what we did and then it will revert back to the original level. It's not gonna stay on that level we do. You'll see what I'm talking about. Cool, so I bumped up the symbols a little bit more there and then you could see around this spot, it just reverted back to the original and it didn't stay up even though I had the fader up. It just bounced right back after I let go of the fader. Okay, now let's check out latch mode. As you can see in latch mode, at the parts where I let go is right here, and you can see it didn't revert back to the original automation, it kind of stayed on its own path, which is what latch mode does. So it stayed louder until I dropped it lower, or just let go, then it stopped doing automation, and it just kept going on to my original automation. But these points are fresh. So that's basically, you know, in a nutshell, what all of them do. And obviously if I put it on read, it's just as if I was writing it, but I like to, when I'm mixing, I like to have them on read, so that's obvious what mode I'm in. And I'll switch from there. So it's on read. It's going to play exactly what's here. As you can see, the little fader is moving with automation. And let's do the last mode, which was off. And you'll see it's not going to right. It's 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 going to be flat. It's not going to bounce back or up and down. So as you can see, the automation is still written in off mode, but it's not playing the automation. It's just playing the flat level I have. And I could lower it without automating it just simply as you would any fader in the mixer. And that about sums it up. Thanks for watching.